she does not care about this. That's okay. Strolling through the town of Duncannon. Um, the trail is literally this sidewalk, so people's houses are basically on the trail. <laughs> This is the trail, apparently. So, the train's in the way. At least we're gonna have to go behind it. So you may have already noticed, but today um, Bad Bad and I are doing either 11 and a half miles or 16 miles, we're not sure yet, but for the first eight miles, we're getting slack packed by a trail angel named Twizzler. And so Twizzler and Patsy, um, they're slack packing us for the first eight miles today, which is great because the first part is just a straight up climb up the ridge. So. We don't have heavy packs for that, and yeah, so we're not sure what we're gonna do for mileage today, but the first part of the day is gonna be way easier, thanks to them. This is my first time slack packing, and it's awesome. I mean, when you take the load off your back, climbing is so much easier. <sighs> Love it, this is awesome. Now I have to have like ugh, something pulling on my shoulders, and like making my back sweaty. That was so easy because we slack packed. We like hauled up that thousand foot climb. Very rocky in this area, and the worst part about it is there's a lot of poison ivy everywhere, not necessarily all these plants but growing into the trail next to the trail in between the rocks there's poison ivy everywhere so trying to be really careful to not step on any or brush on it all right we got our packs back thank you so much twizzler for Slack packing us for part of the day, and we're going three more miles to Peter Mountain Shelter or something, um, where we're, we'll end the day because it's getting kind of into the late afternoon. So we'll see you there. So I want to talk about where I stayed last night in Duncannon, Pennsylvania. It was called Kind of Outdoorsy. It is a hostel plus like a store for resupply. Um, the front part is like the store where you resupply and then in the back they have the hostel which has like a good amount of bunks i don't remember how many um and two bathrooms which are really clean and um there's a laundromat called trail laundry literally right next door they have loaner clothes uh, a station for filling up your water bottle um, a station for coffee or tea for hikers um, and then like a lounge area with like chairs and a TV and couches. So it was really awesome and it was only $25 for the night. Um, so I stayed there and showered, did laundry, all that. And then the post office down the road has boxes full of like snacks like donated for hikers. You could take as much as you want. So I got like most of my resupply from the post office. 
So I only bought a few things from the store that's attached to the hostel. And then the icing on the cake of this town stay. There is a church down the road and on Wednesdays during like Nobo season, they offer um, free dinner for hikers. But it was like incredible. Like it was like spaghetti, meatballs, salad, fruit bowls, garlic bread. And then they had a bunch of dessert. They had boxes full of stuff for hikers we could have. They let us send postcards home that they would mail out for us. Like it was amazing. Duncannon is a very hiker friendly town and worth the stay for sure. Also want to add that like at this place that it was just so clean. She has somebody that comes in every day and like actually like deep cleans. The showers had like great water pressure. There was little dispensers in there for soap and body wash. You know, some places like you have to get your own or they don't have enough, but it was very nice. Like a nice section for grabbing towels and blankets and tons of stuff, anything you could really need. So she does a great job and it is a deal to stay there. I think it's the last one. <laughs> <laughs>